All right, it's media day time. We're talking 75A Division One with Marcus Gold from Wiley East. Just took the job a couple months ago, so he's still getting his feet wet. How's the uh, how's the move been to to Wiley, and how are you situated there with the program? Uh, the move's been fun. The the transition's been fun. You know, the familiarity of Wiley East and, and knowing a lot of the head coaches that are still here. Uh, that transition's been much easier. Um, but moving all the way from East Texas, all the way back to the Metroplex with a four month year old little baby, uh, it's definitely been a busy, <laughs> a busy two months. And, uh, but it's been fun. The administration here is, is, is unbelievable. Uh, the kids are just as great as I remember them in, in 2013. Uh, so they're already hard at work. Our coordinators have been here almost every day, uh, starting our skill sessions and our, our strength and conditioning program with these kids and I think they're they're jumping on board they're excited I, you know sometimes all everything new is always always excited so just being consistent with that over time and throughout the summer is going to be important uh leading up into this next year's season well you're you're moving into a district uh with some big dogs in at the top but you got Longview up there uh you got Highland Park Longview looks like they're pretty freaking loaded this year uh talk a little bit about going moving in this district and, and how you you I think you guys will survey it the well, right well coaching here in the metroplex you know for um my earlier I mean seven years of my career at Ennis at at, at, at Irving at, and here at Wild East you're I'm very familiar with a lot of those teams and in this district they're playing East Texas schools Longview who I'm very familiar with at, at White House but John Tyler um, uh, McKinney North have played some light teams. Mount Pleasant's the first game on our schedule. So uh, looking at that schedule, it's very familiar. Some of the some of the names that 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 are popping up. Um, it's going to be unbelievably competitive. Uh, there's no doubt about this. Uh, but I wouldn't have never taken this job if I didn't think that we could compete here. Uh, we have the kids that can compete, um, and it's going to be that important for us as coaches to, to get them on an even playing field and us to come up with a great game plan. A week in week out well you definitely uh have a little work to do because the uh, first run through this district they uh, the raiders couldn't pick out a win but now you you come in with a different type of energy how are you going to get their motivation up to try to get in that win column and maybe complete compete for one of those playoff spots well the, the biggest thing that i've told them before is that we can't be a momentum football team you know things are going really good we can't be really high if things are going really bad we can't start chirping back and forth. We've got to find that even feel, that even balance. That's something that we've, we've talked to the kids about uh, before. And, and more than anything that, I, that I've seen over time uh, with good football teams, is you have to be a player-led football team and, and not a coach-led football team. We're a coach-led football team. We have a chance to be average to good, but if we're a player-led team, uh, those are the things that are going to take us to uh, the next level with and the game of football with as many adverse situations that come up in a football game, uh, those kids out there have got to be the ones uh, that lead your program or the ones that are getting on to each other that somebody is late. And we're starting to see a lot of those things out of, out of some of our players, uh, with, with Hubbard and, and Harbor and, and Zane Brown and, and, and Washington. Uh, those guys are starting to really do a good job of, of leading us. Well, like we said, the cupboard's not complete. Is not completely bare because of uh, a lot of people around the water coolers. If you want to put say they're talking about Terrell Washington, such a great sophomore year. Have you had a chance to see him play and talk to him about how you might want to work him into your offense? Yeah. So yesterday was our our first our first team session, and Washington was everywhere. We we've had him at safety. We've had him at quarterback. Uh, we had him at slot receiver. We put him at running back. Uh, we want to make sure we have options. To one, just create a dynamic player out of him. And that's exactly what he, you know, the, uh, I was giving him a hard time yesterday that you know, the ball was on the, the two yard line and um, you know, we run power read and he's going right in there and we don't have pads on and he stops, turns, bounces it, runs all the way to the sideline yeah. and, and almost scores. And I said, Hey, I'm fine with some of those electric plays when it's a it's a third and long situation or we're trying to score and you're trying to make something out of nothing. When that ball is on that two yard line, you might want to just punch it in there. <laughs> However, that was pretty electric of how fast you went from A to A to B in a in a matter of seconds. And he's like, Coach, if I would have had pads on, I would I would I would have I would have drove in and punched it in. And we just didn't have pads on. 
Like I'll believe you. I'll believe you for now. Just but we'll see if that happens in the game. But um, he's a he's a he's a great he's one of the, that I told you that leads by example. He's one that I've had to almost pull off of working too much. Right? Those are the kids that you like the most. Is hey, you're working too hard. Meaning um, he he works out with us in the morning, wanting to show up for our optional weight room in the afternoon. Uh, he trains with uh, his father a lot on the side. And uh, hey, man, make sure you calm yourself and. Um, take care of your body throughout that and I think he does a really good job of that too and understands that he wants to take his game uh, to the next level. Well, that's perfect. Hey, I hope your uh, first season here is a, is a successful one. Uh, good luck when you guys get started and, and thank you for joining us. Yes, sir. I appreciate you having me. Thank you.